Right, I've just bought their uh, a Series E 50mm lens for my uh, digital camera, and this is it's just arrived, so I'm going to open it. Have a look at the packing. Bought it on eBay. Paid about 60 quid for it, 60 pounds for it. So I'm going to open it here. And if anybody's interested in buying a Series E 50mm pancake lens, you'll see me actually getting it all open if I ever can. Oh, blimey, not wrap this up well. Might have to edit some of this out. He's really edited. He's really done this. Done such a good job on wrapping it up. I can't get it out. Four marks for that and the feedback. And okay, as I say, I see a lot of there are a lot of these on eBay, and the prices that you went for a series E 50mm lens for uh, Nikon. And uh, as I say, there are loads of them on eBay. They were going from anything up to 75, 80 pounds. I put a bid in for this one. I made an offer, 60, 60 pounds. And uh, NK lens to encourage me to take my camera out more often. Because the ordinary 50mm lens, as you can see, of course, is quite bulky and uh, sticks out a lot. A pancake needs to be quite small and it's light as well. So I thought it would encourage me to take my camera out with me more often. I'm getting, I'm getting hang on, let me get a pair of scissors. Okay. Right, I've actually gained access to the inside of the box. Loads of bubble wrap. Tremendous amount of bubble wrap. Oh, we've got to sort of tape around this as well. Now, to say, the feedback of the packaging is going to be second to none. There was no hood with it. The top of the end caps were on it. No hood with it. But then again, I've ordered a hood. Well, it was less than a fibre, I think, and there were loads of them as well. So there we are, one pancake lens. Get rid of all of that. As I say, that packaging was brilliant, and I'll tell you what, it looks very clean. I went for the one with the chrome ring, which is the slightly earlier model. Uh, it's, a, um, it's more of a metal construction, so it's quite light. I'm going to take the two caps off and let's have a look at the. Uh, Nice and how good it is. Oh, that's right, you had a Hoyer filter on it. It's always had a filter on it. So let's open it up and uh, well, I can't see anything wrong with the uh, optics on that. It looks excellent. Uh, being an old lens, of course it's 1980, early 1980, it's all manual. There's no electronic connection at all with the, uh, with the camera. Having said that, that's no problem. This focus ring is nice and smooth, I must admit. And it's nice and thin as well. So let's pop it on the camera. Uh, that's right, there's no dot either. So we've got, what we've got to do is we've got to judge where it's going to go on the, on the camera. And it's about there because the numbers, of course, for the exposure will be for the uh, aperture will be on the top. So it's a matter of guessing whereabouts that is. Uh, that's fair, right. So there we are. Um, what I'll do, uh, it focuses quite close. I'm going to put a salt cellar there, and uh, I'm just going to switch on. We'll. Uh, I'll put it in the live view. I'm going to have a exposure of f8. It goes from 1.8, it's a 1.8 lens up to f22. I'm going to pick f8. Uh, I've got it on full manual. Uh, let's see. And what I'll do is very low light. I'm going to put up to I. I'm going to put up a high ISO. I think. 
and we'll turn our high ISO up to a thousand because I'm indoors under a fluorescent light. It's not very bright. Let's put it on live view. Let's focus that. Focusing the salt cellar. Have a look at that. That's a bit dark, so we, um, what we'll do is we'll open it up a bit. Go F4, open it up a couple of stops. Focus it again. Just to show you what it looks like. And that's a lot better. And uh, there we are. Not bad. Not a bad shot really. That's a nice crisp lens. I'm quite pleased with that. And as, as you can see, it's nice and small. Uh, that focus right in, it's nice and small and easy to pop in your behind your jacket so you can carry it out with you. Quite pleased with that. There we are, 60 pounds, so a couple of quid for the postage, I think, on top of that. So I'm quite pleased with that. My uh, pancake lens on my D610, and it uh, cost me 60 pounds. Really sharp, cheap lens. Thank you.